What's up guys, welcome to New Orleans Travel Vlog. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an exciting video for you guys today. Before I get further into the video, with explaining everything that went on in this trip. I think I should give you some context of what the trip was about. So basically, I have dropped out of college. <laughs> uh, I've always watched YouTube since I was like a kid, looking up to a lot of YouTubers when I was younger. I know not a lot of people have. It kind of shocks me because YouTube's always been a part of my life, a big, a big part of it. So I dropped out of college. But the whole reason that I'm telling you that is because this was a trip that I took with the school, basically. Um, I paid for the trip. So the, the school didn't pay for me to go on the trip. I paid my plane ticket and everything, like food. I paid for myself and everything. So it's not like I'm just using the school. <laughs> Let's clear that up. So basically with our major, I used to be a sports management major and we took a trip to New Orleans for the Final Four and the National Championship to volunteer at the Final Four and the convention center where they do a bunch of stuff where if you can see on the shirt, it says fan fest right here. Uh, this is what we volunteered at in addition to the game. That's basically what we d went down there for. I went as a vlog experience, meeting people. I met a lot of very famous people that I never thought I would meet before. And I went just as an experience of just getting to see everything that goes on in the final four, everything, not everything behind the scenes, but stuff that goes on around the final four that most fans wouldn't think like you think it's just the games it's really not there are so many other aspects to so many other companies that are roped into the final four like they're sponsored like i hope i can say this on youtube i'm still learning uh pizza hut at t b-dubs capital one all those companies kind of want to put themselves out there for everybody else to see while these events are going on and a lot of fans go to them. I'm surprised that none of like the events that are going on in FanFest are publicized or at least not to me because I was a big, I still am a big basketball fan. I've never heard of FanFest or anything. I thought it was just go to the final four, you see the games, you see the national championship and you know all the games before that. But I realized it's a lot more than I thought and it was very, very cool to see. So basically to start out with day one, I started from home. I drove from home, which I live in Michigan, to Ohio, about a over two hours drive. I started at 10.30 or 11 at night. Didn't get there until 1 p.m. There were some crazy storms on the way too. The, the wind was insane. I went from about 40 degrees in Michigan to 70 degrees in Ohio, and there were like 80 mile per hour winds. Like buildings power were getting knocked off. And I really thought there was a tornado because when I was driving to Ohio, I noticed it said 74 degrees in my car. I'm like, wait, there's no way that it's 74 degrees. <laughs> I was just in 40 degree weather in Michigan. I looked around, I'm like, there has to be a tornado. So I went, drove there, got to Ohio around 1 a.m. I was a little bit hungry. I got Arby's. Uh, I couldn't resist it. I was very hungry. It was, I knew it was a long night. I knew I wasn't going to sleep because we needed to leave for the airport at 4 a.m. at the school. So I got to the apartment where I lived and stayed up until we left for the school at 4 a.m. where we all met up in the vans. One van, my bad. And then we drove to, we flew out of Columbus. We flew out of the Columbus airport uh, around 8 a.m. Um, We flew on Southwest, so we got to choose our own airplane seats, which that was pretty nice. Uh, I've never experienced that before. Usually I fly Delta or American Airlines or Spirit or something where seats are assigned, you know? So we all sat kind of in the back, which that was... I don't think I've sat in the back of a plane much. That's what I kind of realized. So I think on the flight, I slept for about probably an hour. I was chilling, taking some really cool videos that I'm gonna show. The clouds from the storm that was passing by us. Uh, that was pretty cool to see. There were a lot, very thick clouds. So once we landed, uh, I don't remember the exact time we landed. We landed sometime in the morning. We got off the plane. We went to the shuttle to get our rental car. We rented a 
regular van. We then, because we couldn't check into our Airbnb until 4 p.m., we went to the convention center where we would be working for a few days to pick up our gear, which means the polos, the hat, and you'll see the polos and the hats eventually in the video. It'll be played throughout a lot of videos that I'm playing. So once we got that, we thought we had about four hours. I think it was around 12 p.m. We couldn't check into the Airbnb yet, so we thought, why not go to Bourbon Street and get some food? And that was really good. It was a very fun experience, Bourbon Street during the day. The buildings were unlike any other I'd seen anywhere that I've been. Uh, it was just like the pictures and videos. It's like all the rumors. It's a little bit dirty, a little bit smelly, but I mean, what city isn't? We went to this pretty good bar slash restaurant on Bourbon Street. So there's a story with our ordering food, uh, just with me. So we sat down, ordered. I, when I went to New Orleans, I really wanted gumbo or jambalaya. So I just was kind of debating between the two, didn't know which one to get. So I chose gumbo. And then while we were waiting for our food, I thought I'm gonna go explore the streets. Uh, when I got back from exploring the streets, I saw that there was jambalaya. Like they gave me jambalaya and a few of my friends on the trip were saying, didn't you order gumbo? I'm like, ah, it's fine. Like I was gonna try both anyways, it didn't matter. So then the waitress comes up to me and she's like, didn't you order gumbo? I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's really fine. Like I was gonna try both anyways, so I'll try the jambalaya now. And she's like, no, I'm gonna bring you gumbo. She brings me gumbo. Gumbo too for free. I saw I had these two giant plates, one of jambalaya, one of gumbo. That was so good. And I couldn't choose between the two. If you want a recommendation for gumbo or jambalaya, if you like spicy food, go with jambalaya. If you don't like if you like just regular food, go with gumbo. They were so good. Chicken, sausage, rice, and then I don't remember exactly how all that was in there. I'm not a chef, but they were both really good. After that, went back out to the street with some of my friends and we actually got stopped by this older woman. She walked up to us and I thought that she was angry because she walked up to us and was like, <laughs> well, I'm like, oh my God, what what did we do? <laughs> and she's like, I just need to stop you. I think I need to write you off. Like, is she an undercover cop? She was like 70 years old. I was like, there's no, what is this? And she gives us these tickets, which I'll show on the screen right now, that said tickets for not having, something about tickets for not having enough fun. That was funny until she was like, okay, yeah, here's these hats, by the way, if you donate. <laughs> so here's the catch with that type of stuff is that you give, you get free hats, but you need to donate 10 to $20. We just kind of said, we don't have any money. Sorry. She was like, okay, I'll take the hats back. And I was like, yes, of course. I've been to LA before on Hollywood Boulevard where people give out CDs for the same reason here's my free cd can i have five dollars okay never mind take the cd back i'm used to that by now not everybody else was used to that was used to it that's why when she handed the hats to me i kind of knew what it was after that we just kind of explored the city we went to french quarter where we saw some street performers and they were actually very entertaining we got some of those beignets when we were getting the beignets i didn't get any because i already had the jambalaya and the gumbo i was very full and i walked around a little bit where the beignets were and I was like you know what? I'm gonna just explore while they're ordering food because the line was very long it was downtown New Orleans during the day it's gonna be crowded so I walk up these stairs this like ramp and I see a news station like a giant news setup I'm like oh I wonder what this is and I walk a little bit further and I realize when I look at the newscasters that one of them was Carlos Boozer and I was like that's so random I just walk up the story with the street performers they I'm just gonna show you guys the video Towards the end of us going out during the day, there was this guy on a hoverboard with a giant snake. I don't know the exact name of that snake. You can put it in the comments if you know the the name of the snake. I've seen those types of snakes before. I'm very comfortable around snakes, I'll be honest. If they're tamed, I have no problem with them. I'll hold it. I've been, when I went to New York back when I was like 15, I held a snake around my neck. It was the exact same one, so I was comfortable with it. But when I went up to the guy, he was like, yeah, you can hold it for $20. I'm like, $20? And then I saw a girl after me, like a lady after me, about 10 minutes after, and go up to him and hand him $20. And he only let her hold the snake for about 10 seconds. And that's when 
and I was like, oh, I, I made the right decision. And then after we checked in our Airbnb, got settled in, unpacked a little bit, we went to Walmart, got some food. Then after we were a little bit hungry, when we went to Cane's where they had this. In the back, they had these giant stacks of cane sauce. So we went to Cane's, got some food, went back, and then we just kind of chilled for the rest of the night. Some people went out to Bourbon Street that night, but some of us were just way too tired. I was going on one hour of sleep and I'm not used to that. And that's gonna conclude day one of New Orleans. If you wanna see the following days, make sure you check out the new upcoming videos. And for more content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you know when new videos are up. I'll see you guys next time.